Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Lee Jo. I'm happy that you clicked on my video and I hope that you enjoy the swatches that I have for you today, which are the new Wayne Goss lipsticks and lip glosses and lip liners. So this is his first release and um, yeah, I ordered it the moment that um, they sent me the link because I signed up for like early notification or something like that through Beautylish. Um, I haven't even opened my box yet. I literally got it like um, a couple of hours ago. So I did my makeup and I'm going to swatch these for you. Before I get into that, um, first, let me say congratulations to Wayne Goss on releasing these lip products. I was so excited like to see um, him doing lip products, especially because, you know, that's my lane. That's what I'm trying to go with my channel. I love doing lip swatches, lip products. That's me. I love it, right? However, 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 Wayne, you got to do better with the swatches. Like, you just only going to do one skin tone? Like, I feel like if you are just now releasing your brand, releasing um, products in 2020, I think that the beauty community has been very clear that they want um, diversity, right? And I'm not saying that, you know, you got to pull a full-blown Uma Beauty or, you know, a Juvia's Place on your page or all of that, but there's more than a lighter, there's more than lighter skin tone people buying these products so i kind of grappled with that and a lot of people I, I know that i wasn't alone a lot of people was like um can you swatch some brown skin tones you know because it was like <laughs> you know you want to buy the product and you trust that it's good but let me see what it looks like on a different skin tone because a skin tone closer to me or somewhere in that direction or something. We had no pigmentation. And I left a message on his page. And I was just like, can you swatch it on darker skin tone? And I'll let y'all go see um, <laughs> what he put up next. But it was like, it was like um, a square with maybe like um, a darker, a real dark skin tone. And it was only done twice. Whereas you had all these other swatches on uh, um a white skin tone and it was like okay thanks buddy and yes i slid into the dms just in case y'all want to slid into the DMs. just like hey if you need somebody to swatch i'm your girl <laughs> you know did you need need that i mean i don't know some people don't i don't know but um i wasn't going to say anything on my channel but then i was just like you know what what do i want this channel to be and i am representing um, people of color, um, black people, you know, we're here, you know what I mean? And it's kind of like annoying where you kind of got to guess and got to really fight to see if it's going to look good at you on you, at least just out of courtesy, include us sometimes, no, all the time, because we'll drop a dime on something that we like. We'll drop a dime on on beauty products and things like that, but are they dropping a the dime on us? Are they like thinking about us? And that's the issue that you know we kind of have. Um, so yeah, that's that. Either way, I'm gonna swatch it for y'all because I got them. And um, let's get to swatches. So from the Wayne Goss collection, I purchased three of the uh, lipsticks two of the glosses, and then three of the lip liners. So, and I'm also going to break out some products that I already have that um, I feel like maybe compared to these, like I said, I haven't even opened them, swatched them, anything yet. So I don't know um, what the texture of these are. Um, and you know, I like gloss gloss, like, you know, <laughs> I like the flies to get stuck on my lips, all of that. So I'll see how these compare to other glosses that I have and other lipsticks that I have as well. So um, let me start. The first color is Daisy. Ooh. 
They feel smooth. Ooh, I like Daisy. Hmm. This is nice. It just smells like a regular lipstick. No special special smell. Ah. So of course, little Daisy Poo might need some liner. Or <laughs> if you want to be about that life, you don't have to add no liner. I'm not adding a liner. Y'all always pressure me to add liner, and I'm not doing it. Not this time. I'm holding. I'm sticking to my guns. This is Daisy by Wayne Goss. I like this. And there's the hand swatch. So it's like a pinky color. I like this a lot, actually. I, I do have this somewhere in my collection. I think it's a liquid lipstick or probably something... You know, I have a lipstick like this. I like the texture of them. Um, I prefer more matte type finishes. These are like not matte. They're, I guess they're satin. They're very creamy. Very nice. So if you don't like matte lipsticks, you can try these. These are nice. They're a nice in between. You know, it's, it's not matte at all. I like it. The mm -hmm. next color I have is Amaryllis. Oops, that's wrong. <laughs> Amaryllis by Wayne Goss. Hmm, we like Amaryllis too. Now, how does that compare to Daisy? Let's see. Let's break old Daisy back out. See what she was talking about. I didn't get all of the colors. Because he ain't swatching nothing. They look like me. So I ain't buying all your colors. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I'm a little bit serious. Mm. So that's Daisy. This is Amaryllis. All right, so... This is what Amaryllis looks like. Ooh. Mmm. I like Amaryllis too. You definitely don't have to use a liner. If you have pigmented lips, you don't have to use a liner for days for um Amaryllis. Don't let them pressure you into the liner life. This is nice. These are comfortable. They are um, really nice um, in texture. I just like a more matte finish. That's all. Like y'all know, I'm go. I love the um, Uma Beauty finish. That's perfect because it's not too. It's weird. They perfectly mixed a buttery finish and a matte, long-lasting finish, and I really like that. I don't even do lipsticks like that. I'm a liquid lipstick. Um, and lip gloss type of person. Those are my preferences. But bullet lipsticks, if I'm going to do them, I prefer them in a matte um, formula because I'm like, okay, this will just come off. But I like the color payoff. And they're smooth, but they move. Oh, <laughs> I just rhymed. They smooth, but they move. Hey. <laughs> right? But this is a nice amaryllis. I like her. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wear it because I bought it. You can put these in your purse. These are purse colors. Like, oh, I have a job to do. Mm-hmm. Little Emma. Emma. I'm going to call it Little Emma. Amaryllis. This color is Orchid. So I tried to get colors that I felt that would look nice on my um, skin tone. And also, I like those pale colors as well. Like I said before, I just, I like it. I do like the contrast on my lips because, you know, I, everything doesn't have to be nude because you're of a darker skin tone. 
You don't always have to be quiet about your color. Like, people gonna see you still brown, sis. <laughs> they still gonna see it. So, I'm gonna get colors that kind of stand out. But I feel like Orchid might be a neutral on me. Still gonna rock it because I bought it. This is pretty. It's like a burnt orangey color. This is really nice. Oh, <laughs> Orchid is the color. If you're just going to get one purchase from this collection and you're of this skin tone and you don't want anything too light. I also, I didn't get the reds because I have a ton of reds. And I was like, I didn't feel like these would be, you know, the, the type of texture that I always love. Like I said before, because these have a lot of slip to them. But they're comfortable. They're very nice. And if you want that in a lipstick. Yes, get these. Try the red. Although I didn't, uh, yeah. It's a comfortable formula, that's for sure. This is Orchid by Wayne Goss. This is really nice. It's a little something. This looks good with this eye color, right? That's nice. It's a little something, but not too much, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to swatch the two glosses that I have, and they are Antique Rose and then I'm going to say it right Chrysan Chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemum. What should I start with? Let's do Antique Rose first. Yeah, I'll start with Antique Rose. I had to open it with my tweezers because, you know, it's, yeah, this is pretty. I went back and I ordered another one. I should have, I wish I ordered it when I purchased this. I'm sorry, but um, one of the more um, opaque glosses because these are just kind of glittery, frosty colors, right? But the way, excuse me, the way that I build it up, oh, you're going to see it. Antique Rose. I smell the peppermint. Mm -hmm. These are nice. These are very, very small. This I like the applicator. This is cute. That's a cute applicator. So this is Antique Rose by Wayne Goss. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just a clear, but with a little sparkle. In natural light, it um, looks really good. But I have my ring light on, so it looks um, just like a gloss, but it actually does show a lot of shimmer, which I like. The next color is Chrysanthemum. And this is like the darker gloss, I guess. Well, that's very pretty. I never purchased the Fenty, um, I think it's one of their brown lip glosses that they released. I forgot what it was called. Hot cocoa, hot butter, something like that. So I was thinking maybe this could be kind of the same. But also Fenty is having a 30% off um, sale. I think that's for everybody. If you are on their mailing list and you already got the email. So if you're in a shopping mood, which I don't know who is, but this is what they got. This is nice. I really like this one too. Mm -hmm. This has a sparkle to it. Chrysanthemum. 
by Wayne Goss. It's cute. I'm going to swatch the um, lip pencils and I'm going to start with the color mauve. And this is what it looks like. Pencils take a while to build up. Ooh, these feel, maybe not these. They were ready, he was ready, he was like, oh. So, I have pigmented lips, right? So I wanted to see if this could shade in my lips and definitely it can. I don't typically wear um, lip pencils as a lip color. I know some people do, like they'll fill it all the way in and then um, you wear it like that, but I typically don't. But if you want to, and if that's what you're looking for, and you are of a deeper complexion, this is what mauve would look like on your lips. It's nice. Oh, and they smooth. See, I want this texture in a lipstick. That's what I like. That's what I like. These are more matte. It's not hard to get it on at all. And it might be because I had all the gloss on and stuff, but either way, make sure your lips are moisturized before you use um, lip pencils. and Not too moisturized because you don't want it to be like a glossy thing, but you want it to your lips to not be all cracked and dry. This is nice by itself though. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in so you guys can see. Y'all want to see what mauve is talking about. See that? This is nice. And you can wear it like this, or like I said, put a gloss on top or not. I'm not. Mauve is nice. It's the mauve. This is Mauve by Wayne Goss. The next color is Sepia. And this is what it looks like. Swatch. So that's Sepia and this is um, Mauve. So you see the difference. This is more purple. This is more pink. Hmm. But on the lip, they actually end up, well, let me not speak too fast. Let's see what they do. Let's see what Sophia does. To me, it kind of looks the same, right? Y'all let me know if that looks the same to you. Is that me? That looks like mauve. So you might not need both if you were trying to decide which one to purchase. Yeah, that looks the same to me. Different on the hand though. Uh, I'll fill her in. She definitely has color payoff. See how I colored my lips? Ah, there you go. I can see a difference now. Okay, yeah. Huh, I like this. But like I said, this is the texture that I want in a lipstick, right? 
This is Sapia by Wayne Goss. This is nice. Ooh. I like it. <laughs> it's very corpse-like, isn't it? <laughs> the next color is cinnamon. So, of course, this is, I think this is going to be a color that looks good on, you know, darker skin tone. I think all of them really look good. I, I like the texture. Sometimes, you know, if the texture is there, it kind of makes it look good, right? And these are nice textures of um, pencils. They're actually, they're kind of like um, Melt Cosmetics pencils. Melt Cosmetics has some nice, I know y'all tired of hearing me talk about Melt, but I just found out about them and I feel like, where was I? They have really good color pencils um, as well. And they have like a whole bunch of colors. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ah, come to mama. <laughs> Wayne, I'm not mad at you at all. Don't get it twisted. I'm not mad at you. I just want everybody to do better. I just want to see faces like this. You know, when you advertise, and that's all, right? And shout out to all the YouTubers who've been going hard and um, really putting these companies on notice just to do better, really be inclusive. Oh, this is pretty... Ooh. Oh, yeah, this is nice. This is going to look good with Orchid. This will look good with any of the um, lipsticks. I would just like this in like a lipstick formula. This is what I want the lipstick formula to be like. So, again, if you are not into lipsticks that are not matte formula, these are not mattes. The lipsticks from this collection are not matte, but the lipstick pencil is amazing. And they're movable. And pigmented. This is beautiful. This is cinnamon. By Wayne Goss. Very nice. <laughs> I am cinnamon. I'm actually allergic to cinnamon. So this is cinnamon, which I filled my whole lip in with. And then I added daisy. So cinnamon and daisy for this combo. That's pretty. That's really nice. And then if you want it to get real grown, you could add a gloss on top. But I think that because this texture lipstick is so smooth and so um, uh, creamy anyway, I would, I would not add the gloss. This is enough. I would add the gloss, but you don't have to. <laughs> so this is Cinnamon and Daisy. For this, I did Sapia, and then I added um, Amaryllis to the center. This is nice. I like this look. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I, for this one, I did the cinnamon lip liner and then I put orchid in the middle. It was orchid and then the cinnamon lip liner. Is that upside down? I'm sorry, y'all. This is, yeah. Where is the name? I'm sorry. 
is the name even on here? There you go. Cinnamon. Cinnamon and orchid for this. Cinnamon is on the outside of my lip. And then I put orchid on the center. This is pretty. Um, The textures of them are nice. I like the texture of the lip liner. But like I said, these are not um, matte lipsticks. They, they never said that they were matte lipsticks. They are cream lipsticks. And um, moisturizing, like if... If that's your thing and you really like those type of lipsticks, these are good. Um, I don't know if he's going to come up with more colors or anything like that. But like I said, I just, um, just for any makeup brand, <laughs> include pigmentation, please. 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 Like, please. And thank you to those companies that do, um, are very diverse in um, uh, what they put out on their social medias and, you know, um, things like that. It really does, it makes, it makes a difference. Anyway, I won't go too deep into that. That's the end of this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I will be, I'm supposed to do a live today, but then these came and I was like, mm, I should do this video first, but, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll still do a live. I don't know. Um, cause I know a lot of stuff is happening online Friday. So, um, I was thinking maybe to do the live on my Instagram, um, today, tonight. I don't know. I have to see, but either way, this video is going up. And um, thank you for the new subscribers. I'm officially at 90. <laughs> I know it's still small, but I'm still excited. And I hope y'all are excited. Um, thank you so much for um, clicking on this video and liking my videos and conversing with me. Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know if you agree with what I said. Don't be shy. <laughs> But seriously, I do like the collection. It is nice. The lip glosses, if you have Fenty lip glosses, they're basically the same. I like Fenty texture a little bit better, but they're nice glosses. They're nice lip products, um, especially the lip pencils. Cinnamon is the bomb. I like cinnamon, and I like the color Orchid, too. So, that is that. I will be uploading another video at some point this week. And I hope you guys are well. I hope your families are well. Um, I want to send a thank you to all the essential workers, um, especially those that I know personally in my family and also in your family as well. Uh, we will get through this because that's what we do. Um, on that note, I do have my message. She know. She know who I'm talking to. Don't turn away. Rona, wait, let me fix this. Hold on. Don't mess up my locks. Don't mess up my locks. Wait a minute. Okay. Rona. Rona. Get in the house. Bye, y'all.